In this video I'm going to show you how to create an allocation list with some basic uh, inputs and outputs and then how to use a very simple program um, on the FST software. So I'm going to open up one of the previous projects I've already opened, so I'll go to file or project, open. I have name, which is the project test for the C FEC standard. Press OK to open it up. My P0 is blank from previous. And my allocation list is so far untouched. Inside of the allocation list, you can either press F2 to bring up your allocation list entry window, and you can have insert. Another method of doing this is to have your columns A, B, and C from within your Excel document. You can then copy and paste in and out from Excel to the allocation list or from the allocation list to the Excel document which creates a nice handy uh, ability to move uh, large amounts of text very easily. I'll begin with inserting some here. So the absolute operand for instance for I 0.0 .0, your symbolic operand is any sort of nickname you wish to give up. Input 0. I'll change that to capitals. The comment can reflect whatever that particular input looks like. With any additional information that may be required. In this case we're saying this is a push button and it's normally open. You can then insert some outputs which are O and 0, 0. Notice the differentiation of 0 and O. I'm just going to keep it simple with output 0. Comment lump and we could give it a color for instance green okay you can obviously fill in the rest of your allocation list to suit the particular type of machine you're working with and the idea being that the symbolic operand or symbol here is something that's easily remember uh, easily memorable so that you don't have to remember your option or your absolute operand o0.090.0 because once you get a raft of numbers, then it's going to be kind of hard to remember them. So going over to programming, I already have P0 created, and in here I'm going to start off with a step program, saying if input 0, then set output 0. Once I press enter, it automatically sorts it into the right format for me, and I can continue programming as required. Here we have a very simple program in which if the input zero is activated, output zero will be turned on and set on permanently. When the input zero has been released, as in if not input 0, then the output 0 will be reset or turned off. A very simple step program, and when the step program finishes, it actually cancels the program and then stops working at that point. Usually though, on a step program as well, just for knowledge, if the last step cancels the program, typically speaking by the software, the last comment does not get carried out and will not process through on the PLC. So in this one, if not input zero, then res be carried out. In order to achieve that to happen, you should then insert another step comment afterwards of if NOP, then NOP. That will allow the processor to process this as a step by itself, allowing this previous step, then reset output zero, to actually be computed by the PLC itself.